Well, we're about to do an awesome stage demo for you. Please help me, join me in welcoming one of our talented artists, Maurice to the stage. Kind of great. And then he learns that there's this prophecy about him that he's going to be a great wizard, or he's going to be like super evil. So, what would you like to draw today, Maurice? Today I'm going to draw Old Lady Harley. Oh, I like it, Old Lady Harley. Woo! Well, as um, some of you may know, Marseille has worked on Harley Quinn for us, a couple of editions of that, as well as Dastardly and Muttley, which came out recently, too. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get going. Awesome. Oh, is that the one you want? Yep. Okay. So, what's your favorite part about drawing Old Lady Harley, would you say? My favorite what? In my favorite mind, part about drawing Old Lady Harley. Like um, story, the fact that maybe I designed her, design which makes it easier to draw. Okay, <laughs> all right, I like it. And then, let's see, when did you maybe decide to become an artist, or say? Um, as, as far back as I can remember, uh, I've always been drawing, so it's... Uh, even before I knew it was called comics or whatever, so okay. I, I, I've always been drawing, and then it, it became obvious that... Uh, you know, growing up and starting to read, I was reading a lot of comics. Okay. That would be it, so okay. I had so no plan B. <laughs> so is your advice to maybe some um, up-and-coming or some, you know, uh, people that want to be artists in the audience, uh, mm. just to continue to kind of polish and practice and just continue to draw on a daily basis? Yeah, my advice would be um, draw, draw, and draw more. Okay. And draw a lot. Draw from reference. Mm -hmm. uh, don't hesitate to, at the beginning... Um, Look at the people you like. I mean, the artists you you revere, mm -hmm. and um, and once you you think you're mm -hmm. sort of ready, go show your work. Sure. Don't hesitate. Uh, okay. Ask for advice. Listen. So you said like good reference material. Um, when you started to draw, what were maybe some comics that helped influence you, or just characters, or even artists? You mean that counted for me as, as a... Yeah, like who were some of your inspirations in terms oh, well, of artists or comic artists? As a, as a European, I'm um, coming from Belgium, uh, we're mostly, at the beginning, we're mostly French and Belgian comics. Okay. So um, some of them are not really well known over here in America, but uh, sure. among them were the Smurfs, that's oh, for sure. there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tintin, of course. Okay. Uh, and then when I turn around... 11 or so uh, discovered French version of the Marvel comics. Oh, wow. Okay. And, uh, and, I, and I was hooked. So, okay. and after that, well, there was Batman and Superman, yeah. which we All had, which of them, had as right? well. All so, the yeah. core superheroes. That's great. Um, aside from the ones you've drawn for DC, what is your maybe another favorite DC um, superhero of yours? Uh, it's not really a superhero, but I, I, I would love to have a chance to one day draw the demon at Trigon. Okay. Or any. Any Kirby character related to the DC universe, like the fourth world or anything, Mr. Miracle? Okay. Oh, yeah, Mr. Miracle. That's yeah, fun, right? I, I'd love that. Love Mr. Miracle. Okay. Um, and then, so which, I guess, what's your favorite part of drawing Old Lady Harley? Is it like um, maybe her face? Is it her whole kind of outfit? What is your favorite aspect? I think it's the way she acts, the way she moves, her attitude. Okay. Um, being in her mid 50s because she's Old Lady Harley. Sure. I try to keep her, it's, qu it's quite difficult to draw an older lady, mm -hmm. uh, so I try to keep her as good looking as possible. And, sure. uh, and um, with the writer Frank Cherry, we decided to have her a little bit beefed up. So she's okay. like, anytime she has a, a moment, she yeah. she's just works out. Wonderful. So she's going to be beefed up. So I like that. And then um, I know she has very like kind of iconic features a bit, and even her hair. Like how I like how you've taken that aspect there. Is it was that more free form for you to come up with that concept? Well, the concept was easy because when Frank came up with the idea of the of the book, he, he mentioned Mad Max and okay. uh, Fury Road, and mm -hmm. then I, first idea I was, I was like I had was like going for a sort of Furiosa okay. parody. Oh, so yes. I decided to shave her hair and uh, wonderful. <laughs> okay, love that. Um, have you gotten to like draw any of her like um, pets at all? Um, I forget if they've been in, in any of this. This is not the really a spoiler. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a spoiler, but uh, okay. it's not an important one. There's going to be a double-headed Ayana. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it's the future and it's a weird <laughs> yes, future. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> That's great. So those two are going to be in there somewhere. Okay, great. Do you um, like to draw like maybe some animals at times, or do you prefer sticking with like the um, core characters like Harley? 
and people. The thing is, um, when you when you draw comics, it's sort of a re rep repetitive thing. You know, you mm -hmm. you, you don't exactly do the same thing all the time but it's it's, sure. it's a bit of that okay so wh what i like is trying to get out of my comfort zone okay and animals are definitely there so i, I okay as, as soon as i can like put into yeah, animals into it so i try to that's definitely. great so so you said you started quite young when you actually kind of started developing your artistry um was that around age 11 you said really when you kind of started reading those comics uh, regularly getting the reference material together i took it really seriously from the age of 13 Okay. Uh, because I was I was able to um, attend the course of drawing okay. and, and comic actually comics oh, yeah okay uh, oops uh, all by um, was the uh, the course was given by um, a Belgian artist uh, a Belgian oh. comic book artist and so um, I spent seven years there and from and when I left that school uh, I was lucky enough to get hired by a Belgian company so uh, oh wonderful so I started working at the age of twenty oh right away that's amazing. That sounds great that you got to go to school for it and kind of hone the craft as well as read yeah, comics. That, you, you couldn't compare it to the Joe Kubert High School, but uh, it, it's, it's, it was a bit like that. So Okay, okay, that's great to know. Um, so aside from, like, I guess some of her Harley Quinn's fa uh, favored, I guess, you know, counterparts, have you gotten to draw, like, the Joker or somebody like that? And do you like that? Um, I love to draw the Joker. Do you? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, any anything Batman villain related. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. That universe is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So um, there's gonna be some sort of Joker thing in the in the mini, of sure. course. Uh -huh. I can't tell you anything. Of course, but, uh, yeah, of course, can't tell us. No <laughs> secrets. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your favorite aspect of the Joker, maybe, to draw? Again, the acting and um, all the face expression. Okay. And. Um, the thing that's really difficult is trying to bring something new to it, okay. because it's he's been drawn by so many amazing artists before. So iconic, if you uh, will. It, definitely. So, um, so yeah, it's trying to bring my little brick to the wall. Of course. And, uh, but it's not it's not really easy. So, uh, I, I like to draw him. Uh, I like the the, the Greg Capullo version, the recent oh, one with sure. the, the hair on top and you know shaved on Love sides. Love that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty scary. Oh yeah, of course. So. <laughs> it's definitely its own take. I like how you said you have to kind of come up with something to add your own little flavor yeah. to each character that you do have the privilege to draw. Um, so aside from ones that you have drawn and ones that you're talking about or that you would like to draw, you already mentioned one. What's one other DC maybe superhero you'd want to take a stab at? Who? Um. That's a good question. Um, <laughs> again, I think Batman probably. Batman, right? Yeah, but okay. it's so it's so out of there, you know. It's of course, <laughs> it's so you know but again iconic, but you can maybe add your own style to it. Yeah. Depending but I, on. But the I love like second tier characters. Like I, I'd mm -hmm. love to do like the Swamp Thing, for instance, or oh, uh, yes, a anything, um, anything that's part of the Mystic universe. Yes, I, I like, like that about too. DC. Phantom Stranger, people like that. Sure. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I like the idea of, yeah, especially Swamp Thing with how topical that is, yeah. too. That was announced, of course, that, you know, being on the new um, OTT service, right, with DC yep. Universe over in the corner. Um, so that's got to be something really exciting if you wanted to ever take a stab at that. Um, now, do you like to do, I know it's mainly the character feature stuff, but what about, like, the landscapes or any of the backgrounds, if they, I think that's what they're called? Um, do you find that more challenging? Do you do a lot of that? Um... One of the main differences, I, I think, between European and Amer American comics is that uh, we train to draw a lot of backgrounds. Oh, okay. And, and so I really like it. Oh, wonderful. So, because it's, it's uh, like, let's say, for in the whole Lady Harley universe, mm -hmm. it's a sort of wasteland universe. Oh, yes. And it, it, it becomes a character in itself. Mm -hmm. So I, I, really, I really like that. That's so, great. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting, too. I wonder, do you, since you said it's great to have some kind of reference material as you're looking to sit down to draw, uh, in terms of the backgrounds, do you find any, like, um, since you, it seems like you've maybe traveled a bit, are there any types of maybe countries that you see have really good landscapes that you draw a reference from? Um, I always have a camera with me, so anytime mm -hmm. I find something useful or interesting, yeah. uh, and it can be like from the sun casting a shadow. I mean, sure. s sometimes you can just find me taking pictures of, s I mean, sure. weird anything. things. But uh, yeah, so any okay. anything I get in my hands on, yeah, That's definitely. That's great. Uh, other than that, no, no, it's just, you know, as an artist, I don't know about the other ones, but um, I may see something and in my, then mm -hmm. in my head I turn, into, I turn it into something sure. other. So, yeah, but I have the basis, I have, you know, I have the, the mm -hmm. um, what do you call that? The, um, 
Can yeah, I? the basis, yeah. Yeah, okay. And like you said, add again like a little bit more of your own flair to it and making sure you know you capture the light depending on what the story yeah, you're trying exactly. to communicate, exactly. that kind of a thing. So um, in terms of, once again, the landscapes, is it easier to do um, like a city where there's more architecture involved that's maybe a little easier with hard lines uh, rather than maybe like the desert or the wasteland, like you said, for Old Lady Hardly? Desert and wasteland are definitely easier to really? draw. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. But also like um, cities in ruins and stuff, okay. which I'm going to draw a lot. So uh -huh. that's, that's pretty, pretty nice to draw okay. as well. So. Is it because maybe like with cities and architecture, there's a lot more maybe detail that could be potentially in the buildings that makes it a little bit harder and more time consuming? Yeah, I can, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty tight when I ink myself and, uh, mm -hmm. and I tend to maybe make it a little bit more too, uh, uh, too static. Okay. So it, it can, I can go more lively when I have to draw like Sure. Stones and rocks and, and deserts sure. and, uh, okay. and broken things. It's, it's, it's probably easier, it's funnier. Right? It's funnier. You can kind of have a little bit more, I think, freedom in terms of yeah. some of those kind of landscapes because those are so different across the board wherever you're traveling and things like that. Um, so, like, about, like, Harley drawing her, especially her face, is there anything that kind of, that you really, really love to focus on or is it just, like, the whole aesthetic, aesthetic of her? When I draw Harley, I, I, I try to always keep in my mind that she, in the beginning she was Harley Quinzel. Oh, mm -hmm, good. Wearing glasses, psychologist, yeah. and, and, and so it's uh, so I, I whatever she do, whatever situations I put her, we put her, we put her in. Yes. I always try to remember that she, yeah, she was that girl before, and she I still like is that. somewhere in her head. So so I try okay. to keep it in character as much as I can. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, the character. Oh, I see it. So sure. so I, I'm I'm. St I'm still I'm like a, a huge Bruce, Bruce Tim Poldini yes. fan. So, so Same here. I think Paul was in the, <laughs> the booth a little earlier <laughs> today. Um, so that's great. And then, so speaking of her and um, some of her history, when you're drawing, I guess, like a scene in a comic that features maybe Harley opposite like the Joker or another character, do you draw on some of that history or backstory of their relationship or even some of the emotions involved? Yeah, and I always try to put some Easter eggs and stuff also. I yeah, love that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like maybe use um, an attitude, the way she poses. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, I'm going to swipe that from, from, from Bruce and from I Bruce Team. And okay. I mean, not really swipe, you see what I mean. It's, yes. it's just sort of paying homage to it. Okay. If, I, if, it's, if it fits the story, I'm not going to put it in there just for the sake of it. But sure. uh, if I can like squeeze in it and nobody sees Makes it. Or, yes, yeah. I like the yep. whole idea exactly. of an Easter egg, especially as you're drawing and you want people to pick up on something. Like in, in every issue of Ollie that I've drawn, uh, I always try to squeeze Bruce Team and Paul Dini's name somewhere on the sign oh, or do? whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Everybody <laughs> think about that next so time you pick go, up go look for that. a comic <laughs> that Morissette's worked on. Look for a little bit of an Easter egg in each of those pages with like Bruce Tim or Paul Dini's name. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, this is looking good. Very nice. I like the, like you said, the more futuristic wasteland kind of yeah. uh, iconic stuff. All right, putting some awesome finishing touches on it. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to take one question from the audience. Does anybody have a question for Maurice? Anybody? All right, then I have one more question because I love this rendering of her. Um, I like the whole, like, you know, kind of a blue facing or different colors. How yeah. do you determine what colors to maybe use when you're kind of doing that yourself, I guess? Well, with, with all these, it's rather easy because it's... Mm -hmm. Red, sure. red and black. Yes. So I always try to play with the Harlequin costume. Okay. So nice. balance are and although like in the new version it's more like blue and red. Okay. So, uh, nice. so it's really a question of balance, and it's always good to put some blacks in a character because then nice. it, it pops out of the page or Love of the that. drawing. So. Okay. Now, do you? I know that mainly um, it's the artistry and not necessarily the coloring. Do you like to do that aspect occasionally, though? What what aspect of so it? So it's mainly the art, like you're just drawing, right? So the coloring sometimes is done by someone else. Do you yeah. like to do both, though? Do you prefer? I, I wish I could have more time to draw a book, so I would do sure. my own colors. Uh, okay. But it's uh, it's it's everything is going so fast, so sure. I never had the chance to do it. But I'm I'm coloring my own covers. Oh, okay. So Great. that's uh, but that doesn't mean that I I haven't been like with good colorists. I mean, sure. I, I've been lucky so far. So, yes. But uh, 
But when I draw, uh, most most of the time I see my heart in color in my head. Okay. So it always turns out differently. So sometimes sure. I'm happy, sometimes I'm. But it's always. I mean, it's also interesting to see someone else's version. Of, I like of, that. Yeah, Once so, you have, so. like you said, the kind yeah. of the canvas done and seeing how the colorist then takes yeah. their stab at it. Exactly. Based on reading the script as well as just seeing your art. And sometimes I, you know, working. I, I work mostly digital. Okay. Uh, and so I. Like when there's something that has really been like like for for instance the makeup. Yes. Uh, that's something I, I put in colors directly on the t uh, on the file when I nice. draw it. You do. So yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So it makes it easier for the colorist as that's well. That's wonderful. And, uh, I wonder. It's also a question of you know um, understanding the volumes of the face. Yes. And so it's the contours and the, like yeah, some yeah, of those yeah. details and just making sure that they understand that and where those lines are and things like that. That's wonderful. Well, as we wrap up here, I am going to ask the audience, or so one person in the audience, a question for a chance to win this amazing art piece by Maurice. So, all right. My question is, what are the two names that is an, are used as an Easter egg in some of Maurice's work for Harley Quinn? What two names? That's an easy one. That was an easy one, you guys. The creators uh, of Harley. Yes, Come creators. On. What are their names of Harley Quinn? Come on, guys! I know one somebody. Has got oh, one has got a. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, um, what two names does Maury say use as Easter eggs in his Harley Quinn art? Bruce Hold on, you gotta raise your hand. I gotta have a hand. Bruce All right. All right. Are you sure? Which one? All right. Oh, wonderful! Screen, screen Yay, down, yeah. you guys! Woo! Or Thanks, you guys! Like Woo! Okay, you know what? Stay on the side. I make a, I make a small one for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah, you, well. Maurice. Ah, Wonderful. Like Thanks, you guys, so much. Thank you. Would, you, you, would you like to have your name on it? Maurice, say, you guys. Andrew. Round of applause. Andrew? Woo! Yeah. Thank you. There you go, man. Amazing work. Thank you so much. You're welcome.